Okay, there's been some updates in the Rust shooting trials. Alec Baldwin, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed. Let's talk about Hannah Gutierrez-Reed. She was the armorer. She was the one responsible for wrangling all of the weapons that are on location for the Rust film project. She's been charged in the death of, of Helena Hutchins the and the shooting of the director in this case. Uh, this is the Rust armorer, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed. She wants her ex's death excluded from her trial. Her ex, yes, her ex died, and she she wants information about that to be excluded from the trial. So let's find out what this is all about, shall we? The criminal case against Rust Armor, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, continues to take shape ahead of her February 20. 24 trial. If I recall correctly, if I recall correctly, she's supposed to go to trial on February 21st. And assuming that she goes to trial on February 21st, that'll be the next hearing that I'm covering. That'll be the next trial that I'm covering, not hearing. That'll be the next trial that I'm covering on this case. So let's hope it goes because that's the next trial that we'll be covering here on the channel. So the criminal case against Rust Armour, Hannah Gutierrez Reed, continues to take shape ahead of her February 2024 trial. Let's hope. In January 2023, the rookie armorer was charged with two counts of involuntary manslaughter in connection with the death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins, who passed away on set when a gun held by Alec Baldwin went off. The charges against Baldwin were dropped a few months later without prejudice as special prosecutors continued their investigation, meaning that he could be charged again at any time, and he has been. That'll be a, that'll be a topic for a different video. While Baldwin got his charges dismissed, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed was slapped with an additional charge of tampering with evidence. After prosecutors claimed they found a witness who alleged that the armor was hung over on the set, and transferred cocaine to another person on the day Hutchins was killed, thus hampering the police investigation. Ah, uh, that seems a bit of a stretch. That uh, seems weird. There's got to be some more information. More. There's got to be some more there. That's a. Uh, eh. Anyway, ahead of her trial, Hannah Gutierrez Reed's legal team seems adamant about trying to make sure some information does not appear in front of the jury. There's. There's Hannah on the day of the shooting. According to the new document, new court documents obtained by The Blast, Hannah Gutierrez Reed's legal team filed three separate motions seeking to exclude evidence in the upcoming trial, which was originally scheduled for December 2023. Her attorneys are seeking to sever the tampering counts from the involuntary manslaughter charge and exclude any mention of supposed drug possession, drug use, or intoxication. They're also seeking to exclude evidence about handing the keys to an intoxicated individual her then ex-boyfriend, who died in a subsequent motorcycle crash over a year before the Rust shooting. Although her legal team feels that these events are unrelated, prosecutors may be looking to paint a picture of the rookie armorer as a careless or reckless person. Hmm. The facts of this motorcycle accident do not have a tendency to make a I have to read this. I've been trying to read from the screen. <laughs> the facts of this motorcycle accident do not have a tendency to make a fact of consequence in determining the outcome of the instant case more or less probable than it would be without the evidence. The filing states a motorcycle accident in a different state that took place over a year before the date of the incident in this case without any persons in common, with the exception of Ms. Gutierrez Reed, is simply put irrelevant to the case at hand. The fact that this incident did not involve Ms. Gutierrez Reed working as an armor or on a film set compounds the irrelevancy of this information. It will be of zero assistance to the jury in deciding the charges pending against Ms. Gutierrez Reed and should be excluded. Her legal team goes on to speculate that the government may intend to utilize the motorcycle accident information to make a, propen a propensity argument that Ms. Gutierrez Reed is a careless or reckless person. And request that any mention of the event be excluded from the trial, as her legal team feels that they are not relevant to what happened on the set of Rust in October 21. Her legal team wants to avoid potential bias in potential jurors. 
Okay, and that, that's a that's a different article, but I think we we can read a little bit of it. Last week, as previously reported by the Blast, the attorneys Jason Bowles of Bowles Law Firm and Ted and Todd J. Bullion of Bullion Law Office filed a motion asking the courts to add a question to potential jurors inquiring how much they have heard about the Rust incident from the media in an attempt to eliminate prejudice in potential jurors. You always want to eliminate prejudice in potential jurors. You're supposed to have an unbiased, unprejudiced jury. As the court is aware, this case has generated intense publicity over the past year and a half. The filing states, there have been numerous statements made in the press regarding Ms. Gutierrez Reed. The likelihood is the summer most jurors will have heard or read something in the press. Yeah, guaranteed somebody is, I mean, everybody's read something or heard something about the uh, Alec Baldwin shooting. Her attorneys asked the court to allow general questions regarding anyone hearing or reading about the case of Ms. Gutierrez Reed in the press and a show of hands so as not to taint the panel. The document goes on to say what counsel is trying to avoid is the panel being prejudiced by jurors saying they have what they have heard in front of other panel members, explaining that this is important to ensure a fair and impartial jury for Ms. Gutierrez Reed. Counsel for the state did not oppose the motion. Jury selection for the Rust Armor is scheduled to begin in February 2024. In May 2023, Alec Baldwin took to Instagram to announce that filming on the Western film had wrapped no release date has been scheduled at this time <sighs> i have thoughts on the release of that movie but that's that's not relevant to what we're talking about here so that that's kind of the update she wants to get some information excluded about uh, her her ex-boyfriend's death in a motorcycle accident uh because her her lawyers are arguing that's not relevant to the current trial which I mean, I tend to agree with. We'll have to see how that goes. Until then, we'll keep you updated as things go on. Assuming that the trial goes on on February 21st, we'll just join us right here because we'll have gavel to gavel coverage of that stream and uh, we'll watch it together because this is going to be the prelude to Alec Baldwin's trial. This is a test run for Alec Baldwin's trial. So there's going to be some like some massive amounts of attention paid to this trial. And I can't wait. I can't wait for it. I hope it, it's been a long time in coming. It's been a long time in coming. If it goes to trial on the 21st of this month, watch it right here on Legal Vices.